Hey Fun Nation, I'm William reporting for the Fun Robotics Network. I am here at the North Brisbane Regional with 26,000 Theseus. They have an amazing double jointed arm. They have an awesome cable, manage cable managing, packaging, and an control awesome control system. All on, behind the butt. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots. So, yeah, can you tell me, what was the design process when you first entered the season? Yeah, so for those who don't know, the Australian timeline for design is quite interesting because we're quite compact. So we go through our regionals is in November, our nationals is December, and then you qualify for Worlds. So we knew, knew we needed something really fast, and we also had final exams, so we needed something that we would work. So going into the season, we knew that we need quite a lot of um, reach, and um, with the new horizontal extension limits, we, we just needed something to get to the high basket. So we've opted for this, this double jointed arm. Um, for us, this was something that we knew would work, we knew it was going to be cheap um, and something that was relatively reliable. Um, on top of that, there's been a few kind of unique design choices because of it. One of them is the packaging of our robot. So we're within or a 10, 10 by 11 inch drivetrain, which is, which is very small. And what we've done is we've tried to lower our center of gravity as low as possible by having all of our drivetrain motors and our arm motors um, on the ground. Now that has led to some issues with um, backlash, which I can kind of bring up later. But going into like, the, des the design, we just wanted one system to intaking and outtaking and not have a transfer because we'd had issues with transfer stages um, like in previous in previous teams um, and we just needed something that would get us through our regionals comp so we could then progress and, and redesign and reevaluate as the season came out. How did you ensure that you were going to stay in that horizontal extension limit? Yeah, actually I'll, I'll pass it on the software. Hi, um, so we had to use uh, quite a few different uh, control system methods uh, to make sure that our arm would stay in the right place. So as you can see here, um, Calvin will point it out, um, we've got a analog encoder here uh, and an, uh, another analog encoder hidden away um, over here. And this allows us to have uh, complete control over where uh, our two joints, uh, no matter um, where they currently are in game. Uh, another thing is, well, another thing is, if we somehow manage to lose power during a match or uh, accidentally run into another robot, those absolute analog encoders will always um, tell us the position and so we can run to it whenever we want. Um, one of the main things that we did was uh, layering two different control systems on top of each other to achieve smooth arm design. Uh, if I start the op mode here, As you can see, it holds its position quite well, and that's because I, uh, over the course of the designing process, I used both PID and feed forward uh, to calculate the amount of uh, the power values that the two motors needed. Um, another very interesting thing is this wiring, and Mr. Calvin over here can tell you all about it. So cable management is one of the difficult, most difficult things in FTC. You always see really uh, spaghetti wires and you can see on this robot here, it is all seamless. And the way we first did this was with custom servo wires. With custom length, there are no errors, no, uh, no points of error. And we have wired this straight through our tubing and into our control hub and expansion hubs. And this uh, removes the error for other robots to uh, catch on our wires and uh, possibly disconnect our wires from our subsystems. Yeah. I can just lead on a little bit. Um, if you're interested in doing that, we um, Robo King's optimizing performance video um, was was pretty instrumental. Um, and what it is is they're using custom cable, so you get 22 gauge cable from Amazon, um, and the male and female servo adapt connectors, and you just do it like that. One final question is how does the how have you found that intake the active intake work for you? Yeah, so going into the season, we wanted to just do a claw. Um, like I think Gear Wizards has one, um, very similar. But what we found is with the backlash on the arm, that's been a, a pretty big issue. And it meant that, oh, I'll come this way. It, it meant that we've had issues aligning properly. So instead we opted for the active design, which 
gave us a little bit more flexibility with those angles. Um, and that wheel again is another kind of prevent preventative for backlash. So we can run with the arm just against the ground with the wheel. And it means we've got a very constant intaking height. Um, the actives has, it has really saved the season. Um, and we, we saw some good designs. Nelson on the Discord published one that we, we used. Um, it's been really, yeah, really great. Thank you so much for sharing the robot and have a great rest of your the competition. This has been Team 26,000 Theseus. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. Studica Robotics offers durable, polished, and anodized aluminum channels with several new colors coming soon to customize your robot at studica.com slash robots. No rough edges and a versatile hole pattern allows for positioning at multiple angles. Feel the Studica Robotics difference, and if you're in the USA, request a structure sample for your team at studica.com slash robots. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video.